guys now it's time to basically finalize this page the whole content area so what we're going to do is finish this table all right so let's look at the image see how it looks it's actually here at the bottom dashboard dashboard where is it um, what's the dashboard okay here you go all right so this is how we're supposed to make it look so let's do that now it's going to be pretty simple all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're basically going to say table and then we're going to say t head and then we're going to say th so we want to make the background the color of gray dark background okay let me see if that looks yeah that's fine we want to make the table with 100% 100% okay make that 100% all right now what we're going to do here is we're going to say for this we're going to make a font size 0.8 rims we're going to say padding we're going to say 20 pixels on top and 10 pixels on left and right we're going to also make text transform uppercase all right and I'll make the font weight a little bit thicker Let me see if 500 if that's good yeah that's fine for now all right now what else we want to do matter of fact let's make this to 15 to make it a little bit smaller yeah that seems perfect okay now what we want to do is change the color we're gonna say color we're gonna say gray dark font all right now the next thing we want to do is we want to come down here on the th head we're going to say t body and we're going to say background white then the next thing we are going to do is basically say font size 0.8 rims now let's look at the what we have here okay we also want to give this a padding we want to say th well not th and td and we want to say padding now let's give it the same thing that we have on the other one 15 pixels on top and bottom and then 10 pixels on left and right all right now the company jobs and if application all right let me see they're both aligned to the left all right so let's say on this one let's make this text align left all right okay cool now let's get border radius generator okay I hate typing this so I rather use a generator so it's curve on the top but no curve at the bottom so we're gonna copy this and we're going to put it let's see let's put it here see if that works okay let me see localhost yes we got the little curve on the top 
that's fine let's look at that I think we should make it a little bit bigger let me see font size 0.9 no it's a little bit too big leave it at 0.8 and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it more padding so let's say 20 pixels padding same thing for the other one 20 pixels padding now for this we're going to change the color of the font to a what was it gray dark font okay now let's see Let's copy this a couple of times. Take this TR and copy it. Okay. That's there. Let me see what else we, we want to do to this. I want to make the circle tool, right? So Let's do that now. Okay, let me go into content area, the CSS. Let me put in inside of these. Let's see. Okay, logo. Oops. Paste it on all the first ones. So this, so let's say LS R8. I don't know. JJ or ZHH. JJ. Okay. Now inside of the TDs, we're going to say logo, display, inline block. Let's make this background um, green, green neon. All right. And then what we're going to say is give this some padding, padding, 20 pixels. Now, border radius, let's give this 50%. Make a perfect circle. Margin right, let's say... 20 pixels. Let's say color white. All right, so there you go. We got the little circle. Now we got to make it a little bit smaller. Say 10 pixels. say 15 pixels all right let me see something okay let me get what's the size of this one 15 15 and then 15, 15, so everything 15. So let's say, let's give this a set width and set height. So it could be perfect, perfect circle. Let's 
let's say 45 45 all right now is a perfect circle all right now one thing that we can do is to basically use uh, flex boxes to center this but we're not gonna go that deep because this is just a simple uh, tutorial for you guys to practice all right now as you can see we're putting circle uh, border radius on the th it shouldn't be on the th so cut it from here put it on the t head all right on the t head now Should I use this? No, let me just leave it like that. All right, but let's clean up a couple of things in here. Let's put in a couple of rows. So right here we have the the cards, right? Inside of the cards, we're going to put in div class row. Okay. Okay. And here we're gonna on the last one we're gonna close it up that row. All right. Now for the grid, one thing that I think we maybe we forgot was adding to the row let's say row let's say margin left negative 15 pixels margin right negative 15 pixels there you go so now everything's gonna be aligned all right now let's go to the table here let's create another div we're gonna say div call MD call MD 12 okay let's close it up after, after that also to let's close it up again and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a row right under the call md12 we're gonna say class row because as you can see when you put in the call md12 that call md12 has a padding right so automatically it's pushing things inside but what we want to do is basically fix it with the class row so when we say class row, class row has a margin of negative 15 pixels. So automatically it's going to go on the right place. So you can see now everything aligns. All right, we want to do the same thing that we did here to this section here. So let's come up here to this heading. All right, let's put in div, close it up. Let's close it up here too. Okay, hold on. Might be something. Let me see, hold on. Did something get closed out? Okay. Where's the cards? OK. 
Okay, let me see something. Let me see if I can comment this out. Figure out what's the issue. Oops. Okay, that got closed. That got closed. Okay. Now, let me see. Cards. Should not be giving me no issue right now. But it's probably somewhere in the HTML. Because what it's doing is pushing it to the right. You see that? Okay, let me see. Cards. Okay. So on content cards, we got to take off that overflow auto and the margin. No, just the overflow auto. So let's see, because we put that when we was like prototyping things. Like we don't need overflow auto right now. All right. Another thing that we want to fix is the way how things break down. So we want this to actually break down like um, on large, we want it to be by six. Excel, we want it by six. No, but we want to buy, we want to buy four on Excel. We want to buy, let's say by three on large. We want to buy six on medium and by 12 on small. So let's copy this. Paste it here. Save that. Now let's see. All right. All right. And there you go. Yep. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, I'm not going to do this fully responsive for you guys as far as like, you know, you guys can go ahead and try to play around with this. This is just a quick tutorial. We basically we build the, the dashboard, how it is on the image. Of course, there's definitely little things that can be fixed. But that's up to you guys. This is more like for practice. I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial, this course. And yeah, make sure you visit codingphase.com. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.